There are certain ways in which I actually still disagree with Marx's understanding of religion in that I don't think it is quite as reducible to pain and I don't think I'm not convinced that bringing about full communism would actually get rid of the necessity for something like religion even if it's not actually religion but religion and spirituality is as much about not just the contingent suffering of you're from a you're eco economically dominated or you're racially dominated or what what have you that can play a part but also just more existential problems of being a human like death religion is it's quite central for a lot of people in how they how they grieve and as much as i like playing with transhumanist ideas sometimes but even i can't i'm not i'm i'm not convinced with a transhumanist communism where we fully get rid of death this is what this is fedorov the russian cosmist some people like playing with those ideas i'm not convinced right now that we're on the cusp of that i think there's going to be a need for something that it, at the very least functions like religion to help people through these things which aren't just systemic oppressions but are actually just the struggle of desire and unfulfilled desire which goes well beyond what capitalism withholds from us it permeates our entire lives and our loves and everything and so that's part part of what I'm arguing for in the book is that even whether you want to call it or spirituality or not, there needs to be something that functions in this way, this sort of broader worldview kind of way, which can speak to our problems outside of the immediately political and that can engage our bodies and people's bodies in how they live in their everyday lives, as well as helping us to understand more systemic problems.